What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. It is your boy Andrew and back with another video man. Today I'm going to be showing you guys the new updated SIGs on my point guard build man. I've been using these SIGs for the last week since season 6 came out basically and I've just been going off with them man. I'm not going to lie these SIGs are super fun. Also I have posted TikToks. If you guys have not seen them yet it is showcasing this new point guard build that you guys can see that I'm on. Only an 86 overall by the way. Only an 86 overall. Badges are not maxed out. Whew, they're getting close though, but they're not maxed out, man. But it has been super fun, guys. I do love playing on this build so much. It is probably the most fun I've had on this game with a point guard in so long, man. But the big man is still also amazing. But yeah, man, before we get into it, be sure to leave a like, comment, sub, all that good stuff, man. I'm at 332 subscribers, I believe, currently. Let's get to that big 400 ASAP, man. I'm still trying to get to 1,000 before the summertime hits. But every single video for 2K, you know we got to do the daily spin, man. Let's go ahead and get this daily spin popping. Of course, we're still on the beast you feel me 400,000 VC a million VC unlimited Gatorade unlimited shooting boost come on three poo all right, besides that being a hot chunk of ass, uh, I'm not gonna waste any time and let's just go ahead and get into these dribble moves I'm gonna show you guys all of them right now three two one Boom, maybe these are the dribble moves right here. Pause if you need to, man. I'm going to go ahead and explain why I chose all these dribble moves. Maybe give a very small and quick one-minute tutorial on how to do a, a few dribble moves that I've learned since this new uh, season came out, man. And as you guys can see, none of these moves are Season 6 moves. So I'll go ahead and show you guys um, the Season 6 moves and if they're good or not. So Jason Tatum is one of the newest ones. It's honestly not horrible. I did try that day that I made the video. If you guys haven't checked out the uh, Season 6 reaction video, be sure to go check that out. It's pretty cool. Just showcasing all the new animations and whatnot. Definitely a very fun video. Um, but yeah, so Jason Tatum's uh, signature size up is not the best. Um, it's okay, that was pretty good. It's decently fast. I just think that Tracy McGrady, if you have a bigger build like me, a six foot eight build, that Tracy McGrady and De'Aaron Fox have the best ones, followed by Dwayne Wade. Um, definitely really good signature size ups for all of them. But Jason Tatum's a solid man. If you want to use Jason Tatum, I do not blame you. For size up escape package, Zach Levine is honestly pretty fire. It's just a little bit slower than I'd like. And for me, I like a little more speed, but I am going to throw it on for this video just to show you guys that it is worth using and that it does work perfectly fine. I'm using John Wall for a long time. Um, well, not a long time, for the last week. Um, but you guys know I'm a Damian Lillard guy, but because I am over the height of six foot eight, I was not able to get my ball handle to a 90, so I cannot get Damian Lillard. I really wish I could, but I just can't. It is what it is, man. I'm not too mad about it. Um, also, can't get Kyrie's, Curry's, Trey Young's, all that good stuff. But, yo, it's still fire. And the biggest thing that I did change, besides obviously these two, like all this first half is everything I changed. Um, so, Trace McGrady, like I said, Zach Levine for the size of the skate package, but the moving crossover. I changed from what Russell Westbrook's, which you guys know does that crazy move right there. That was the one. I changed that to uh james harden where's he at there he is man this man's crossover is fire that move right there i'll show you guys how to do it in a second but that is such a good move man also i just got tired of using russell westbrook's because i've been using it since as long as i can remember man i think back in november is when i put this one on so it's been a little while moving behind the back i'm a damn little moving behind the back kind of guy Kawhi leonard i mean scotty pippen's behind the back sucks not a fan of it at all but um if you like it to each his own man but damian lillard has the best one in my opinion followed by Kawhi leonard and james harden Kawhi leonard is really good man especially for what i do and the way i dribble basic spin that is never changing i know they have steve nash and penny which i might give a try eventually but basic spin is just so good and then everything else is the exact same man i've not changed any of that um, i'm gonna keep it that way for a while also have a new jumper on uh, i could showcase that in another video but yeah that's it for the dribble moves man now i'm going to get into a little mini dribble tutorial followed by gameplay let's get into it right now okay here we are in the pro-am guys and like i've said before if you do want to go ahead and practice your dribble moves the best spot in my opinion is the pro-am 3v3 all you have to do is make a team invite some of your squads to the team some of your friends and then you can just go into the pro-am and practicing your dribble moves man so as you guys can see i'm here no gatorade but i should be fine let's go ahead and show you guys some of the dribble moves so first things first i do want to show you guys just two things which is the confusion on the spin back um, that people seem to be struggling with also the confusion with the spin back all the way to the lucas step back a lot of people still don't know how to do that i did make a TikTok, and it does have 150,000 views thank you guys so much for the support on that and then also i want to show you guys the new um russell westbrook crossover with well, the james harden crossover which is when you do that right there that's such a fire move and so much space can be made from that and that's the move i want to show you guys first so so like i said before i did change to james harden now the, to do that move just like the russell westbrook one um you have to be holding r2 and you flick your right stick up 
that is all you have to do you guys can see the controller cam i do have it up that is all you have to do man it is very easy to do um not something that's hard at all and that move is very good um you can do a speed boost out of it you can just run straight over and get a dunk it's not hard to use at all definitely one of the most effective moves in the game this year and the russell westbrook one is also extremely effective because it gives you such a big boost and a big crab so it was a lot better if you like think about it russell westbrook might still have the best one but in terms of new dribble moves for me man this move has been great um and the uh, best thing about it is that you can do it and then do a snatch back right after you guys see that right there one of the bigger differences with this moves is how much quicker it is in the russell westbrook the russell westbrook you have the in and out into the cross which gives you so much space but at the same time it's super predictable man like when you see the move people immediately think you're going to be doing a step back or a snatch back right away but with this move it's a lot more quick so when you see that and then you do it right away you get space off them and a lot of people are not expecting that um so it does throw people off man can i grab a ball gang thank you um but yeah that is one of the moves i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys once again so in order to do the james harden crossover into a snatch back all you have to be doing is holding R2 the entire time, flicking your right stick up, and then right when you do that, hold your left stick down and flick your right stick up again. So that is the best way to explain this move. You have to hold and make sure make sure when you do it that you're doing the right stick first. Um, it's very quick. It's a lot harder to get down. You might have to do this in slow-mo, pause it if you need to. But you guys can see even sometimes I mess it up, but you do that first. And then as soon as you see the animation play out, you go. With, Russ, with Russell Westbrooks, it's a lot easier because after the in and out, you can kind of just call when you need to do it. All you have to do is let that in and out play out. But with this, it's just one crossover move. So if you mess this up, then it, see that right there? It stops. It's super um, slow. So you guys do have to get the move right in order for it, for it to be effective. Um, some of the mo new moves I got, this is the Zach Levine crossover package. It's definitely fire. Like, look at that. It's not bad. Um, it's definitely a fire move set. The step back is just a little slow. It's kind of like the Trey Young step back, which is the only reason I prefer um, Tracy McGrady's over it and John Wall's over it. I mean, John Wall, sorry. That's why I prefer John Wall's over it, but it's still very effective, man, and it's just as fast, and honestly, it creates more space than the John Wall's in terms of the misdirections. You guys can see the misdirections are a lot better than John Wall's, in my opinion, but overall, solid moveset. I do like it, and I was using it um, to start, so I might just keep it on for a little bit and, and see what we do. Maybe get some highlights for the TikTok, but uh, yeah, man. Besides that move, let's go ahead and get into the next one. This has already been over two minutes. All right, so the next one, obviously, is going to be comboing. Um, I'm going to show you guys something quick that I like to do. The Kawhi Leonard behind the back into the spin move, and then you do the Lucas step back, man. In order to do the spin back, I've told you guys before, all you have to be doing is going straight. All you have to do, man. It's not hard at all. Super easy to do. But yeah, in order to do the spin move, it is super simple, man. All you have to be doing is running straight. One thing that I cannot emphasize enough, man, as long as you're running straight, the spin back will always work. And when I mean running straight, if you look at the controller, man, obviously my left stick is not going straight. Your character has to be going straight. For a lot of people, maybe that was the confusion. If you put your uh, thing straight right here, look at that. That is not the spin back, man. Look, my on the left stick, as you guys can see, I'm moving the left stick straight up, and look, the spin move is not working because your character is not going straight. And that's what I mean when I say you have to be going straight. Your player has to literally be moving in a straight direction for the spin move to work, and it'll work every time. But yeah, like I said, you have to be going straight. So let's go ahead and show you guys with the left stick, you guys have to be moving straight with your character. So while moving straight, all you have to do if the ball is in your left hand is rotate the right stick counterclockwise to the right. Um, if you rotate it like that, if you guys follow the uh, controller cam, that is how you do it, man. If it's in your left hand and vice versa. If the ball is in your right hand, you have to rotate the right stick clockwise and that'll trigger the spin back. Um, very simple move. And then to do it with the Lucas step back, all you have to do after you do the spin move is give the animation a little time to play out and then just flick your right stick down so left hand right stick down you guys see that right hand right stick down and it does the lucas step back it's better to do it when you're more in before the three ball because this is a kill move in my opinion like this is one of those moves that you do when you're really trying to get open for a three you guys see right there it gives you a lot of space but if you do do it um, and you're too close to the three-point line and you do the Lucas step back sometimes you'll still have a decent shot but a lot of the times you're gonna get pulled back a little too far and it's gonna lead to like a limitless three and you don't want to be taking that like like that that's kind of deep man and even though you can hit that as I full bar and absolutely brick it even though it's possible to hit if your three balls like mine like an 85 that's not the shot you want to be taking so you want to be a little bit closer in the paint also it throws them off more because if they see the step back when you're already at the three-pointer what are you gonna do you know you're already there so they're not really moving anywhere but if you're there and you step it back and you're right at the three ball again it's a lot more effective in that way so 
so definitely a super important move to learn guys this is not a part of the tutorial just wanted to show you guys some of the new combos i'm working on as well but i hope you guys did you know get something or learn something from those new moves that i was showing you guys but this is kind of what i've been doing since i've been um kind of in the lab just cooking up a little bit and one of the newest moves that i've been trying to do that i still don't know if it's even effective can't wait to try it in the park but it's this right here man so when i do these combos that's it right there man the spin back into a spin back into a spin back it's like the best way to, to explain it um this spin move that uh, not this one Oh my god, bro. Like stuff like that. Like that's just, that looks random. It looks like I don't know what I'm doing, but I am controlling my player, I know. But like that first one though, like that's something that I think could be really effective. This right here. Well, I I messed up. I think it could be really effective, but I could be wrong and it might just be so extra. But um for people who can guard the spin back, man, if you do that and then go right back, I feel like nobody's catching that, bro. I'm sorry. I just don't see it. I can feel I see this move being unstoppable. Bro. I can't wait to post this on my TikTok and show people this move because I've never seen anybody do that before. Um, not even Steezo, bro. And I know Steezo is the guy. So I definitely hope that it's something that I can create because um, that'd be super dope to have kind of like an influence on the 2K community. But yeah, man, I'm excited to try that move in the park and in the stage or wherever I'm going to be playing. I'm just excited to try it out because I have yet to. But uh, yeah, man, besides that, those are really the combos that I do when I play this game. So that's what I'm trying to do right now. That's the newest combo that I'm trying to learn. Chicken. I feel like that's going to be so fire, man. I'm not going to lie. And on this new build, man, it's going to be dope. Super excited to max out this build as well and show you guys this build eventually. Because he's fire, man. He's really good. Um, definitely the most fun, like I said, the most fun I've had on a 2K. Well, on this 2K in a long time, man. Last time I had this much fun besides making the big was probably being on my 6-6. Six, six. Um, but yo, we're going to go ahead and get into the gameplay right now as well. A lot of this gameplay I'm going to be commentating over, but a lot of it is mainly just um, a lot of dunking highlights because this build can posterize like crazy. I get posterizer on gold. I've never had posterize on gold on any build that I've ever made. So it's super exciting that I'm going to be able to do that. So for all the gameplay that I did have of me getting dunks and kind of like all the dribbling highlights I have, a lot of them are up on my TikTok and I was going to use some of them for this video, but majority of them ended up getting corrupted. Of course, my luck. Um, so this gameplay, I'm not going to show much to be honest because it's nothing special. It's just a little bit of the dribbling moves that I have. You guys see me showcasing some of it, but a lot of this gameplay was actually not me at my best. So I'm kind of struggling to play a little bit. Um, definitely unfortunate. Uh, wide open mid right here green bean you know just like qu quick little highlights but nothing crazy like a lot of my posterizers i end up not showing them because i just don't have them anymore like i literally lost the footage so if you guys do want to see some of the better highlights that i do have that's the one decent one a nice little spin back uh, into a speed boost the james Harden crossover but besides that stuff majority of the really good highlights are on my tiktok same alias as my youtube channel so go ahead and check that out guys i just hit 470 followers on there so close to 500 on there as well which is pretty dope make sure to follow the tiktok man i do post pretty frequently on there man and i make really cool edits um but yeah this is like i said not much in terms of dribbling uh just kind of basic stuff i wasn't really able to do combos but still not horrible gameplay um this in particular right here i think i was an 85 overall here this is when i still had almost only about like f maybe 13 finishing badges so i didn't have posterizer on gold until like the day before yesterday or two days ago so it's been pretty go goaded that i'm able to finally have my build kind of decent you guys see me spinning back snatch back wide open for three chicken man i was saucing this kid i'm not gonna cap but yeah most of this gameplay like i said is nothing special it's not my best work but you guys see the spin back again after the behind the back easy green right there man i think i was using james harden's behind the back in this gameplay because like i said this is rather old but uh yeah i can't wait to show you guys this build because honestly the fact that i get a 93 driving dunk like i did say before is amazing man i still don't even have um posterizer um cord and i don't have limitless takeoff on yet you guys see another spin back right there wide open for three chicken man like it's just too easy on these builds guys spin back right there look at them both jumping bro you saw that they both went to me thinking i was about to pull a three got him lost my boy was wide open for the three ball easy green right there but yeah um this build has been super fun haven't been playing as much as i wanted to as well because recently my ps5 has been shutting off on me every single time i play so i have not been able to complete a game of twos or wreck since like it's been a better part of like 
four or five days now and it's really frustrating but now uh that i'm able to record a little more because i did switch my ps5 i just want to show you guys that because that was such bullshit um now that i'm able to record a little more i'm going to be trying to get more gameplay also going to start trying to post hogwarts legacy again man i i stopped playing the game it's been like a month and it's literally just because i haven't had the time to do so man with school and work but now i'm going to keep posting again easy spin back again for the three easy green bean man basic spin into the lucas step back you guys see right there that was my favorite one because that was off like a move I, all i did was dribble once and then did it because you don't have to even move really like as soon as you catch the ball if you're just going straight you can do the spin back immediately wide open for three green bean right there but uh yeah like i said all this gameplay was during one session um and i was kind of sauce i'm not gonna lie but it was definitely earlier stages of my build easy snatch back for the kill and i late because i am ass at this game that, that was pretty funny i'm not gonna lie and then he ends up getting a three ball smoking that right there we get the board i'm over here wide open in the corner my boy does not pass it to me of course not because he's a sellout uh i ended up getting the lob right here hey yes sir but yo that's really gonna do it for the gameplay hope you guys did enjoy uh, be sure to leave a like comment sub all that good stuff man i am gonna be posting more uh very soon i'm gonna probably post a quick little jump shot video eventually as well and then if you guys really do want to see the six foot eight build this is gonna be the final build i make for this game i'm not gonna lie it's probably gonna be the last one. Oh my god what a spin back you guys see i had him lost oh my god you know what i might finish i'll finish the rest of this gameplay this gameplay was pretty solid this is probably the best game this whole session um, but yo, besides these dribble moves, man, season six has been off to a very rough start to the least. I think I'm like level 10 and it's been like two and a half weeks. I mean, listen, 2K is at a stage right now where it's going to get really boring. So it's not just the fact that the game is boring itself, but it's also the fact that video games in general, they start to slow down during this time. You know, we haven't had a new game in a while. So 2K and Call of Duty are kind of slowing up. I did hear about that new game X Defiant. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see that. I am thinking about downloading it on the PlayStation or on PC. I do want to give it a try because it actually looks really fun. Behind the back on the lob. I ain't never done that before. I'm not going to lie to you. So stuff like that is really cool to see on this build. Um, but yeah, we're wrapping up the highlights here, man. You guys see Slashing Takeover. Um, I, honestly, every time I get Slash and Take on this build, all I try to do is just dunk on people, bro. It's so much fun to just try to posterize every single chance I get. That's all I try to do. Easy right stick dunk right there. You guys see the game 19 to 0. We were zipping these kids. Um, but yeah, man, this game is about to be wrapped up. I, I This is the one posterizer I end up showing. But of course, since the game ends, you don't get to see the full animation. But on his head, baby. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Leave a like, comment, sub, all that good stuff. And I'll catch you on the next one. Peace.